And welcome back. We had a lot of cloud covers made our way through the day today. Temperatures were slightly cooler than we have been recently. Here's a look at the current temperature. Uh, we have fallen from our highs in the upper 30s to 29 degrees right now. Wind north northwest around 9 miles per hour. And the current wind chill value is 20 degrees. Other temperatures around the region show that we're at 30 at Torrington, uh, 28 Bridgeport, 29 Oshkosh, and lower 20s out toward Kimball and Sydney. A little warmer into the northern panhandle, but the cool air already over portions of southeastern Wyoming with some areas into the teens out in that direction. Winds mainly from a westerly direction, maybe a little bit more of a northerly component. Those winds flipping around from a north to a westerly direction means we are going to warm out, warm up and dry out as we get rid of the cloud cover across the region and eventually we're going to have more sunshine, nice uh, warm dry flow over the next couple of days. Wind speeds now between 5 and 15 miles per hour, making it feel a little cooler. We have one weather alert for the viewing area. That's for the higher elevations just west of Wheatland and Chugwater. Uh, this is a high wind watch in effect from 1 a.m. Friday all the way until 9 a.m. on Saturday. So the satellite loop showing that we do have uh, mostly cloudy skies. Uh, we are starting to, in the final frames of this movie, see a decrease in cloud trend. The snow showers have moved into the sand hills, and we're starting to clear out nicely. That is going to be the story. Had that warm front make its way through earlier today. The core of the cool air exiting into the Midwest right now, and uh, behind this front, we do have this high pressure system that's going to take over, give us a nice southerly and westerly flow. So the cold air will move into to the northeast eventually, but for us, the high will give us a good amount of sunshine. Breezy southerly winds will give us that nice warm up as we go over the next four days. So through the weekend, even to start next week, we'll, we will be on the warm side. So there's the wind flipping around to a westerly direction, and that will dry us out pretty nicely. That westerly flow is nice and dry. Low temperatures tonight into the mid-teens to near 20 degrees. Then as we go through the day on Friday, high temperatures into the upper 40s to near 50. That's day one of our warm-up. We'll start off Saturday morning pretty warm into the mid to upper 20s because we keep that nice westerly wind and lots of sunshine as we go through the day on Saturday with high temperatures into the mid to upper 50s across the region. Here's how it looks like on the map. There's that warm front making its way through as we go through Friday. That high pressure system approaches. Saturday into Sunday, the high moves off to the east and we have that strengthening southwesterly wind and a lot of sunshine through the weekend. So that's why we will be warm. Our next weather maker, this cold front, will be the beginning of a cool down with a chance of some snow showers. That will happen for the Tuesday into Wednesday time frame. So as we clear out tonight, we cool off mid to upper teens across the region with highs for your Friday into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees and highs into the mid 50s to near 60 for the day on Saturday. Could be a little breezy at times, but we will have a lot of sunshine as we go through the next few days. 56, your high on Sunday. 50 on Monday, partly cloudy skies and windy. And then for Tuesday and Wednesday, there's your chance of some snow showers. Temperatures falling from near 31 to 25, but rebounding to 33 on Thursday with a lot of sunshine. Angel? The hunt for a new vehicle has shifted from the car lot to the online marketplaces. But the Better Business Bureau tells us our national investigative team it takes a lot of work to get the best deals without getting scammed in the process.